Hey, what's up you guys? Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to deep clean, decontaminate, and ceramic coat your wheels. Let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start with this wheel cleaning process. So right here, you'll see my two bucket method set up. Now, normally we use the two bucket method when it comes to washing your car, but it can also be used for cleaning your wheels simply because these wheels are caked with brake dust. This is a BMW M4. This thing turns out brake dust like no tomorrow. It has performance brakes. So as you can imagine, all that brake dust is just constantly just clean onto the surface of the wheel. And you know, that's to be expected, especially if you don't have a ceramic coating and if you don't maintain them or wash them very often. So today we're gonna deep clean them and ceramic coat them with our hydro spin ceramic coating. But before we do that, we gotta clean them. So we have our two bucket method set up. We have one bucket over there, just kind of not cover the view of the wheel so that you guys can have full vision of this wheel cleaning process throughout the video. That bucket's gonna be used as our rinse bucket and then this bucket is gonna be used as our wash bucket. So the first thing that we're gonna pull out is gonna be our Diablo wheel cleaner gel. Now Diablo is a pH balance gel wheel cleaner. So this product is gonna do great on all wheel finishes and it's designed to uplift dirt, grime, and brake dust from the surface of your wheel safely and guide it off. So now that we have our Diablo wheel cleaner, what we're gonna do is set up our bucket. Now this is filled already with clean water and we have a dirt trap at the bottom of the bucket. We're simply gonna apply about an ounce of product into this bucket, which is equivalent to about one good squirt. And then we're gonna activate our suds with our nozzle here. All right guys, so now that we have our bucket activated, now we're gonna go ahead and rinse off the surface of the wheel. All right, now that we've rinsed off the surface of the wheel, we're gonna start spraying our cleaner. Now the cleaner that we're gonna be using today is gonna to be our Decon Iron Remover. Now Decon is a specialty iron removing agent that's gonna break down all the embedded particles from the brake dust and any kind of ferrous metals that are sitting on the surface of this wheel. And usually with this product, it's gonna start creating a chemical reaction that turns the liquid from clear to purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this down, give it about a minute and a half to two minutes to just kind of dwell and break down any kind of iron particles. And then we'll be right back with you guys to finish cleaning the wheel. All right guys, and now that I've given that about a minute and a half to two minutes to kind of dwell and break down those iron particles, what I'm gonna do now is now rinse it off, that way we can start cleaning it. Now that we've rinsed off our decon, now we can begin with the wheel cleaning process. So right here, I actually have an assortment of brushes. The first one being our big blue stiffy. This is gonna be used to scrub the surface of the tire. And we use this brush to break down any kind of dirt, grease, previous dressings that are sitting on there. That way when we apply our fresh coat of dressing, it bonds and adheres correctly. The next brush we have is our wheelie flag tip brush. This is a nice soft flag tip brush that's flexible and it's really gonna allow us to get into all the little bristles and cover the face of the wheel. We have, we have our red rocket right here. Now this is the small version of our red rocket simply because the brake rotor is extremely massive on this car and we want something that's gonna fit nice and thoroughly in there. So we have our small red rocket right here so that we can get that nice deep clean. And then last but not least, we have our boar's hair detailing brush. This is great for all the little intricate areas such as the lug nuts, the valve stem, the caliper, and any other hard to reach areas that you can't necessarily get to with any of the other brushes. So at the beginning of the video, I showed you guys Diablo wheel cleaner and how we applied it into our wash bucket. Now I also have it right here diluted in a three to one sprayer bottle. And this is right here using our ducky sprayer triggers. This spray handle is designed to shoot your wheel cleaner in a foamy manner. So with the gel based cleaner like Diablo, it's gonna work out great. And check it out, you guys. I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, guys, now that we have our wheel nice and sudsed up, now we can begin the uh, cleaning process. So I usually like to start off with the barrel. So I'm gonna grab my red rocket brush and start by cleaning the top of the barrel. 
And then whenever you're cleaning your wheels, you always want to start from top and work your way down. This is going to prevent any kind of grime that you knock off from re uh, getting back onto your brush and then bringing it back up, especially if you have like sensitive finished wheels. You, know, you want to do the best you can in terms of, you know, filtering your, your brush. That way you're not scratching it up. Now, once you do a certain section of your wheel, what I like to do, and this is the reason why we have our rinse bucket here, is we're gonna grab our brush, and then we're gonna go ahead and dunk it in there. And then you can massage the bristles of the brush by hand and knock off any kind of uh, brake dust and grime that may have clinged onto the bristles. And check that out, you guys, just with just this little quarter of the wheel that we've done, that water is no longer clear anymore. It's dirty, it's murky, it has a lot of brake dust and all the grime that's in there. And it's great because we can inspect our brush now and it's clean, so we can go ahead and grab some more cleaning suds and continue with cleaning the barrel of the wheel. The next brush I'm going to be using is our flag tip brush. Now this is the second brush that I brought out and this is the flexible bristle brush and you guys can see just how flexible it is. So we can easily get into all the spokes and the lip of the wheel as well. But we'll go ahead and pull out our boar's hair detailing brush and get all those harder to reach areas after we've covered the main face of the wheel. And then whenever using this brush, the Red Rocket, I just kind of massage the bristles. But with this brush, you can actually scrub it against the face of the dirt trap at the bottom of your bucket. And this is going to knock loose any kind of brake dust and grime that may be on the bristles. Just like that, you get a nice clean brush again. Grab some more cleaning suds and then continue with cleaning the rest of your wheel. Now we're going to grab our more narrow brush here, grab some more cleaning sets, and then we're going to start cleaning more of the intricate areas such as the center logo. We also have the lug nuts as well, so that way you achieve that nice deep clean. And you're not just cleaning the face and barrel of the wheel. Grab some more sets, and then we can start cleaning the caliper as well. And the valve stem right here as well. And then if you really didn't have access with the other brushes to get into these harder to reach corners, I suggest taking the time to do so right now with your boards or detailing brush. That way you don't have any kind of pockets of brake dust kind of lingering in these little corners and edges of the wheels. All right, now that you're done scrubbing all those little corners, now you can start scrubbing the tire. So we're gonna grab our Diablo wheel cleaner gel again, and just spray the tire just a little bit more for some added cleaning power. And then we're gonna grab our big blue stiffy brush. Grab our big blue stiffy here, and then we can start scrubbing the surface of the tire. And as a bonus, I also have my Stranger Helpful Handy Mitt. Now, if you really want to achieve that deep clean, I suggest that you pick one of these up. These are extremely versatile. 
can use them wet or dry on your interior or exterior, like on your wheels or to wash your car. Now, I like this product because it gives you the flexibility of your full five fingers and you get nice and deep into the wheel and especially behind these spokes. So you can also dunk your mitt into your wash bucket here. You can spray some additional suds onto the mitt directly. And you get behind the spokes as well and you can really get all the grime check that out you guys there's a ton of grime still sitting behind the spokes as well so this is great so that you know especially if you're doing a ceramic coating you want to make sure that you thoroughly clean your wheels and not just the face of it because you want to make sure you protect every single part of it Right, guys so we just finished drawing the wheel using our pro blow high speed professional blower i use this just to make sure that we get the standing water from all the cracks and crevices that we aren't able to reach with our microfiber towel and then i also did just give it a final wipe down with one of our microfiber towels just to knock off any kind of uh, standing water left on the surface of the spokes all right guys now to ceramic coat the wheels we're going to be using our hydro spin wheel and rim ceramic coating and quick detailer that's right you heard me correct this product is a ceramic coating and it's also a quick detailer. So how does that work? Well, the first time around when you apply hydro spin to your wheels, you apply it just like you would a ceramic coating with one of our microfiber applicators. And then in the future, after you've coated your wheels, you can simply maintain them by spraying some hydro spin directly onto your wheels when they're cool or directly onto your microfiber uh, towel and just give them a gentle wipe down. In this case, since we've just thoroughly cleaned the wheel, it's clean, it's prepped, now we're gonna use our hydro spin to coat it. To use hydro spin, all you have to do is apply it to your microfiber applicator. Now, the first time around when you're ceramic coating your wheels, you can set your nozzle to the stream setting, that way you spray directly onto your microfiber applicator. And then whenever it comes to maintaining it as a quick detailer, you can throw it on the spray setting and either spray it directly onto the surface of the wheel or your microfiber towel so that you can gently wipe it down. In this case, I've already coated my applicator and now we can begin applying it to the surface. So I'm gonna start working from the top, working my way down. Now with Hydro Spin, you wanna make sure that you apply it nice and evenly. That way you have the most even coverage and the best protection all the way around your wheels. Now in this case, I'm just going spoke by spoke, doing the face, doing the sides, and then doing this lip as well. And then if you have the ability to do it in a crosshatch motion, such as if you have a bigger wheel, then I would highly recommend doing it in a crosshatch motion. That way you have the best coverage possible. And just like that, it's that easy. It's a very easy to use product. You just really wanna make sure that you apply it nice and evenly. And that's really what's gonna get you that nice durable, long lasting layer protection. You wanna make sure that it's nice and covered all evenly throughout the wheel because you don't want to have patches where you know you didn't really get the product on there as well and then some pro areas where you get the product on there very well and you have great prote protection right there but not so much on other areas so i'm going to continue coating the rest of the wheel and then if you have access to remove the wheels i would highly recommend doing so that way you're able to do the barrel and the caliper as well hydro spin does work on the barrel and the inner parts of your wheel as well so if you have the ability to do so why not Now, after you've coated the entire wheel, you wanna let that sit from anywhere from about 30 seconds up to two minutes, depending on the climate. In this case, we are working in uh, direct sunlight. You know, the wheel isn't in direct sunlight. However, we are in the shade, we are outside. It is a little bit warm today. So we're gonna let this sit for about, I, I would say 45 seconds. We're gonna grab our microfiber towel, then wipe it off. All right, so now that we've given that about 45 seconds to flash, we're gonna grab a microfiber towel. Then we're gonna start buffing off the layer of hydro spin on the wheel.
All right, guys, and just like that, you've successfully deep cleaned and ceramic coated your wheels, and it was that easy. Now, one of the great things about Hydro Spin, as I mentioned before, is that you can use it as a quick detailer. So obviously, you put in all the work and effort to make your wheels look as great as they do right now, and you obviously want to maintain that incredible shine and protection, and you can do so with the same product and using it as a quick detailer with a microfiber towel. Now, Hydro Spin does protect against the harsh UV rays, so if you have some sensitive finished wheels, you want to keep them protected against the sun, this is definitely going to help out. It's also going to reduce the amount of contaminants that cling to the surface of your wheels, which, as you guys know, for this M4, is going to do wonders at preventing a lot of that brake dust from clinging onto the wheel surface, keeping the wheels cleaner for longer. And as you guys already know, this product is our part of our Hydro line, so it does contain ceramic, so you are going to be getting those incredible, that super crazy hydrophobic effect. So the next time around, when it comes to cleaning my wheels, when I rinse them, it's going to be much easier for me to dry them and get all that sanding water off with ease. And then one last thing I did want to mention is the rotors right now. You guys might be looking at this and you, know, you guys might be freaking out right now and saying, oh, you know, I ruined my rotors. No, don't worry about it. This right here is just a layer of rust that built up from the acid-based product from our decon. So whenever you drive off and as soon as you apply your brakes, it's going to just shave that layer of uh, rust right off and you're not going to have any issues. And we'll also demonstrate that to you guys so that you guys can check it out and see how it looks once it's all done. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and conclude the video right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a huge like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on our future videos. If you guys want to pick up any other products that we use in today's video, you can pick them up directly on our website, chemicalguys.com. They're also linked in the description below, or you can pick them up at your local detail garage store location. As always, my name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. I'll see you guys next time.